home communities. For these young people and their older brothers and sisters, this environment would have an enormous impact on how they would behave in the 60s. In today's tough world where every step holds new challenges, there is a generation still alive whose resilience and grit were unmatched during their era. We're talking about baby boomers, a group forged in the fires of adversity. This generation can still beat us with their intellect and strength. But why are they so resilient and strong even in their old age? If you're also from this generation, it's time to hit some nostalgia and relive those unforgettable memories. Join us as we look at 13 reasons why why baby boomers are the toughest generation. Have you ever wondered what made baby boomers so resilient in the face of hardships? In their youth, it was common for this generation's people to face bullying. Whether at school, in their neighborhoods, or even at home, they faced hardship without much support. Their resilience wasn't just a response to adversity. It became a defining trait that shaped their entire lives. Boomers are among the guiltiest of the bullies, says Gary Namey, director of the Workplace Bullying Institute, WBI. From those early clashes with bullies, they came out not as victims, but as victors. Unlike our current soft generation who gets scared by life's tiny little challenges, baby boomers did not have that privilege. At that time, it was normal to get punched in the face by bigger boys or become a joke in the whole school. During these ups and downs, baby boomers did not retreat. This ability to stand tall in the face of problems became a part of their character. These qualities guided them through personal and professional hardships in adulthood as they only became more and more resilient in the face of hardships. At that time, even parents didn't care much about if a child was struggling at school, so kids had to deal with it all alone. It might have negatively affected the children, but they thrived and survived. Keep watching to learn more about how family life was during the boomers' time. Compared to today, there is less awareness and understanding of the impact of bullying on individuals' mental health and well-being. Schools and communities were less equipped to identify and address bullying behavior. So, when we reflect on the baby boomer generation, let's not just see them as a demographic graphic slice of history. Let's see them as living proof of the power of resilience, a reminder that no matter what life throws our way, we have the strength to rise above it and thrive. Instead of staying indoors, they adopted outdoor adventures as a big part of growing up. How did they spend their time outdoors? Exploring nature, building forts, and chatting over camping trips. To the baby boomers, these adventures were very important as they learned how to build shelters and start fires while exploring the wilderness. And what about when they got lost? How did they find their way back? There were no smartphones. So when faced with challenges like getting lost in the wilderness, baby boomers didn't panic. They relied on their creativity and resourcefulness to find their way back. This is evidence of their resilience and self-reliance during that era. Despite these challenges, baby boomers thrived outdoors, especially during summers. They learned to solve problems creatively, work together with friends, and push their limits. These adventures weren't just fun, but life lessons for them. Time in nature shaped their character and imparted a deep appreciation for the world around them. As they grew, so did their connection to nature. They became a generation known not just for their toughness, but also for their ability to adapt and thrive in any environment. Coming home from school to an empty house, not a parent in sight. That was the reality for many baby boomers known as latchkey kids. Both parents usually worked outside the home, so they had to provide for themselves until their parents returned. But the interesting part is that baby boomers cherished their independence instead of feeling abandoned. They managed to take care of themselves at such a young age. They could cook meals, finish homework, and look after siblings, all without adult supervision. This is something we cannot say for our current generation as the surroundings aren't as secure as they were at that time. However, this early responsibility shaped their character. They learned many skills, such as managing their time and surviving without seeking help. Sure, it wasn't always easy being alone, but baby boomers didn't just survive, they thrived. They found ways to entertain themselves and stay safe until their parents got home. How did their experiences as latchkey kids make them stronger and more resilient? They became confident in their abilities, and being a latchkey kid wasn't a burden but a badge of honor. It taught baby boomers to rely on themselves, paving the way for a generation known for its self-sufficiency and toughness. And do you know what physical activities kids have to do from a very young age? Keep watching to find out more interesting facts about boomers. A time when screens and gadgets didn't rule the world was a time when outdoor play
play was the culture. Outdoor play was viewed as the symbol of joy by this generation. From dawn till dusk, they would spend endless hours outside exploring nature and letting their imaginations run wild. From climbing trees to building forts, outdoor play wasn't just fun, but essential for their growth. But the fascinating part is that outdoor play wasn't just about having a good time. It also taught baby boomers important skills like problem solving and teamwork. Now, if you think about the physical aspect, all that running around and playing outside kept them healthy and active. That's why your grandpa might still be much tougher than you, even in his old age, and you wouldn't be able to beat him in a wrestling match. The baby boomers led a far more active life with great social skills. The outdoor play helped them form bonds with their peers and learn to collaborate. And remember the sense of adventure. Exploring the outdoors sparks their curiosity and deepens their connection to the world around them. It was all fun and games until boomers hit the job life part of their lives. The baby boomer generation experienced a job market and work environment that differed in many ways from what we have today. Some types of jobs were notably challenging, often due to physical demands, safety concerns, and limited access to technology. As they started their career journeys, these people had to face a unique set of challenges, ranked structures, rigid routines, and limited communication channels. Maternity leave, what's that? Nobody had such perks and benefits during that era. It was all about serving the boss and sacrificing your personal lives for the company. And how did they live through a workplace reality so different from what we know today? Baby boomers entered a social and economic climate where job security was everything, and climbing the corporate ladder meant putting in years of dedication and hard work. But what hurdles did they face along the way? Women from boomer culture faced gender and racial discrimination, and very limited opportunities were given, if any. Farming and agricultural work were common occupations for baby boomers in rural areas. These jobs required hard physical labor, often in harsh weather conditions. And then came the technological revolution. The baby boomers had to transition from manual labor to automation. Average wages for baby boomers varied depending on the type of job and the region. Generally, wages were lower compared to today's standards, adjusted for inflation. According to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median weekly earnings for full-time wage and salary workers in 1979, towards the end of the baby boomer generation's entry into the workforce, was around $277. This would be approximately $1,110 per month or $13,320 per year in today's dollars, adjusted for inflation. So you can have an idea why lifestyles were simple back in those days. Despite these challenges, their values of loyalty, dedication, and a strong work ethic remained intact. These qualities shaped their approach to work, and they often stayed with the same company for decades and committed to lifelong learning. The baby boomers were resilient in their connections with people, and most of their relationships were lifelong personal or professional. Interested to know what transportation was like in the boomer era? Well, it was nothing like today. Let's see how different active transportation was for boomers and why they still enjoyed it. It was a time when cars weren't the go-to mode of transport, and walking or biking everywhere was normal. To every man, do his own special pride. Children walked or rode bicycles to school, work, and play areas. This might sound too tough for today's generation, which has fast speed cars and motorbikes that can travel everywhere. But this daily mode of commune made boomers physically fit and independent. Biking everywhere daily or walking to nearby areas was like a form of exercise that they were doing unconsciously. That's why obesity was close to none in that era. Kids used to interact every day with their neighbors and enjoy themselves in nature. It provided them with the freedom that they loved deeply. Being able to travel on their own made baby boomers self-sufficient and gave them a sense of autonomy. They lead their lives in an environment far better than today during their youth. For boomers, walking and biking weren't just means of getting from point A to point B. They were a way of life. That's one secret to their good health. Now let's see how family life was during the boomer era and why it made them tougher than us. The whole family gathered around the dinner table and cherished rituals. Everyone had a sense of family life during that era. You might think of it as old school, but boomers loved this way of life. The whole family gathered during holidays, sharing a meal and stories from their day. During those gatherings, children experienced more than just a meal. They experienced a time-honored tradition that made bonds. Parents pass on these values to their children. Family dinners impart discipline, respect, and gratitude for the food and the bond that they share. Oh, on special occasions, family dinners become moments of celebration with lavish feasts and cherished family recipes. Through these rituals, boomers 
learned a sense of unity and love within their families, building lasting memories and traditions that live up to this day. That's why our grandpas and grandmas always want us to all sit together. Also, this sense of unity made them stand up for their peers and fight for their families. Next, we'll look at some of the finances and spending habits of the boomer era. In an era shadowed by economic hardship, boomers learned a priceless lesson from their parents, the art of thriftiness. Growing up surrounded by the reflections of the Great Depression and the trials of World War II, they received a deep-seated value for thrift shopping and wise spending. At that time, people had to carefully budget their finances, seek out bargains, and prioritize needs over wants. They became masters of stretching their dollars, finding creative solutions to everyday challenges, and making do with what they had. They learned the value of money from their parents and elders and would only spend when necessary. But their thriftiness wasn't just about making ends meet. It reflected their core values. At that time, less was more, and people were happy with simple lifestyles. So they understood the importance of long-term financial security and stability, choosing to save thoroughly and invest wisely in assets like real estate and mutual funds. Through their cautious financial habits, this generation has passed down a legacy of self-reliance to us, and they also played a huge role in stabilizing economies after World War. But all this caution about money has ultimately rewarded boomers. Do you know that in the third quarter of 2023, 51.3% of the United States' wealth was owned by baby boomers despite them making up 21% of the country's population? So, these people struggled for years to build their lives and contribute to our economy. Now, they are one of the richest generations in America, but did education affect their wits and development? Let's see how education affected the boomers. This generation saw education as a privilege and a powerful tool for change. Growing up in the aftermath of World War II, they understood the importance of education in rebuilding nations and shaping the future. This awareness drove them to prioritize academic achievement and intellectual activities. They also passed down the values of a strong work ethic and a thirst for knowledge to millennials. It wasn't just about personal success, but about leveling the playing field. Baby boomers fought for equal access to education regardless of background or identity. They went above and beyond to ensure their children had access to quality education. Through their dedication, boomers shaped the future of individuals and society. Their belief in the transformative power of education laid the groundwork for a knowledge-based economy. That's how they left a legacy of intellectual curiosity, critical thinking, and lifelong learning for future generations. Recognizing the baby boomer generation's significant contributions to shaping today's technological landscape is important. Their pioneering efforts laid the groundwork for the digital age. Don't you think acknowledging this helps us appreciate the foundation of our modern world? Now, let me tell you about the physical labor, which was routine work for boomers. It will make you appreciate our current lifestyles even more. During the boomer era, rolling up your sleeves and getting your hands dirty wasn't just a phrase. It was a way of life. Hard work and resourcefulness defined their generation. They grew up engaged in physical labor and a do-it-yourself DIY culture that shaped their work ethic. And they loved fixing things themselves. They enjoyed doing things themselves, such as building furniture or repairing appliances instead of hiring someone else. Baby boomers felt proud when they could do these tasks independently and they saw it as a way to save money and learn useful skills. They also enjoyed activities like woodworking and car maintenance. From a young age, children helped out on family farms or pitched in with household chores. This hands-on approach taught them the value of hard work and determination. They took pride in doing home improvement projects and car repairs themselves rather than relying on professional services. The DIY culture empowered baby boomers to take control of their surroundings and find creative solutions to challenges. But it wasn't just about getting the job done. It was about the sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that came with it. Physical labor and DIY culture weren't just tasks to be completed. They were lessons in resilience, work ethic, and problem solving that shaped the baby boomer generation into one known for its toughness and resourcefulness. Baby boomers were deeply involved in sports and physical activities during their early years, which gave them a vibrant and active lifestyle. This generation grew up in an era when outdoor play and recreational sports were central to childhood experiences. From street games like stickball and jump rope to organized team sports such as baseball, basketball, and football, baby boomers loved many activities that kept them physically active and engaged with their peers. These activities provided a means of exercise and fostered important social skills and teamwork abilities. In school, physical education was a significant part of the curriculum, emphasizing the importance of staying fit and healthy. The call of the outdoors was louder than the attraction of screen.
screens. That was this generation's childhood. The neighborhood parks were always alive with the sounds of pickup games, baseball, basketball, football. These activities not only promoted physical fitness, but also instilled values like leadership and sportsmanship. Boomers built a fellowship on the field. Participation in team sports taught them the importance of collaboration and cooperation as they worked together toward victory. The rise of television then introduced iconic sports figures and events, inspiring many children to participate in sports themselves. The emphasis on physical activity extended beyond just sports, with many baby boomers also engaging in outdoor adventures such as hiking, biking, and camping. Why did these adventures encourage their love for the outdoors and strengthen them? Through sports and physical activities, they developed more than just muscles. They learned discipline, fellowship, and endurance. These qualities served them well throughout their lives, making them known as a generation known for its toughness and resilience. So, what was healthcare like in the era of boomers? Healthcare wasn't as advanced for baby boomers as it is today, but during their time, they saw amazing medical progress that changed everything. Antibiotics, the polio vaccine, and better surgical advancements happened when baby boomers were growing up. These breakthroughs didn't just make people live longer. They also made life better by treating serious illnesses. Then there were programs like Medicare and Medicaid. These started in the 1960s and ensured that older people and those with low incomes could get health care without worrying about costs. It made a big difference in how healthy people were overall. This generation also saw new machines like x-rays and MRI scans, which significantly improved the accuracy and effectiveness of treatments. People became involved in eating healthy, exercising, and managing stress. They cared for themselves in many ways, not just with medicine. Because of all these changes, baby boomers became more aware of their health. They learned how to make good choices and take charge of their health care. It made them strong and able to handle health problems when they came up instead of relying on Western medicine too much. Their ability to deal with tough times helped them understand how to stay strong and fit without relying on medicine. As baby boomers neared retirement in the early 2000s and late 1990s, they faced rapid technological advancements that transformed the way they lived and worked. Workplaces underwent a major transformation near the end of the 1970s. How did baby boomers adapt to all the major changes? As they entered the workforce and adult life, they faced rapid technological advancements that changed various aspects of society. These workers adapted to the introduction of computers and digital technology in the workplace. They were the generation that transitioned from manual methods to computerized systems, learning new skills like typing and data entry through on-the-job training or evening classes. They started using personal computers and software applications in their daily lives, which was a major shift from what they were used to doing previously. Word processing, spreadsheet management, and presentation design streamlined workflow processes and increased productivity. This period marked the rise of the internet, mobile phones, and personal computers, which presented both challenges and opportunities for this generation. Many old-timers had to adapt to using computers and the internet for tasks that had previously been done manually or in person. This included learning how to use email, browse the web, and use software programs for work and personal use. So they needed training and education to learn new skills. Some baby boomers embraced these changes eagerly, seeing them as a way to stay connected and engaged in a rapidly changing world. Others found the changes more daunting and needed help to keep up with the pace of technological advancements. Despite these challenges, many baby boomers successfully adapted to the new technological landscape. They found ways to incorporate technology into their daily lives. It took them time to adjust to all this, but now you can see how fast even our grandparents can use social media to stay in touch with family and friends or online tools to manage their finances and health care.